I'm Don Carr and this is the Keeley Neutrino. The Keeley Neutrino is an envelope filter and an auto wah. As you heard in the intro, it really is very dynamic and it responds totally to your playing and that's some of the great things about the features on this. The gain control is essentially an input gain but it also becomes like a sensitivity filter at, in, at the same time and I can kind of demonstrate that by turning the guitar up and down. Here it is with the guitar all the way up. And then turning the guitar down a little bit, get a little less sensitivity on it. So you see the filter doesn't open up as much. So that makes it really interesting. You can kind of define the touch. Like if you want something that's really sensitive and opens up at every little pick attack, you just crank the, uh, the gain control. And if you want it to be really muted, then you just turn the gain control down. The high-low switch further defines the frequency shape. If you've got it on low, then it's going to emphasize the lows more. If you've got it on high, it's going to emphasize the highs a little more. The peak control controls the actual shape of the filter. A lower peak setting makes a mellower sound, and a higher peak setting opens it wide up. So the best thing to do is just kind of listen. First of all, let's get an uh, unaffected reference. And I'm playing my PRS-513 and a Fender Princeton. <laughs> And here's the neutrino engaged with the current settings. Okay, so I'm, I've got the switch set on low. I've got the filter selector set on B for bandpass. And I've got the gain set just above halfway and the peak right at halfway. So that's kind of a moderate setting on this thing. If we Go for something really extreme, we'll emphasize all the highs here. I'm going to crank the peak all the way up, I'm going to flip to the high side of the switch, and I'm going to put the uh, selector on high. Okay, let's, uh, let's go the exact opposite. Let's go all the way to the low side. We'll turn the peak all the way down. See, even hitting it with the same amount of gain, if you turn the peak down, it doesn't open up as far. But if you, even with this setting, if you turn the peak all the way up, the filter opens up really wide, but it emphasizes the lows more. So it's really versatile. It's just amazing how much you can do with this little pedal with just the few little controls that are on there. And let's not forget the direction switch. It's over here on the side. It's buried pretty good so it's kind of hard to click so you don't accidentally do it. There we go. I'm going to turn and make sure the peak's down a little bit too. All right. So you can see it actually changes the direction of the filter. So it starts out with the filter closed and then opens up, as opposed to the filter being open and then closing down. All right, so there it is, the Keeley Neutrino. Everything from funky wah sounds to really psychedelic freakouts, man. It's a <laughs> pretty intense pedal. Um, if you've got any questions about this or any other Keeley product, please contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. Thanks.